Hello everyone, this is Phantom Rider here, and I know what you guys are thinking. Two videos in one day by Phantom Rider? What is this sorcery? <laughs> I know. And I don't even know if many of you have even seen my first part of this series back in, I think, one or two years ago, but it was a Rosalina x Radio story. And just for some basic context, I had, a, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you guys have not seen that video, please go watch it because it doesn't contain the first part of this story. So you're going to be very lost when you watch this. And I'm also going to leave a link to the first part in the description of this video. Not just the video, but also the story. It's on DeviantArt. I have not posted it on my pad because I don't know if I'm willing to dedicate a whole book to this. Although it would be fun to do. But um, somebody on my... um. Someone on my DeviantArt page named Heavy or Lobster had gotten in contact with me a long time ago, maybe about a couple back in like 2017, which I know a long time. But um, they had asked me to make a Rosalina X Reader story, and I go more in detail about what they had asked specifically from me in the previous video. But long story short, they had given me this extremely detailed explanation for what they wanted out of this Rosalina extruder. And I was very surprised because I'm like, why don't you just make it yourself? But I made the first three parts, I believe. I don't know if I made a fourth one. I think it's somewhere in my drafts. But um, then they had deleted their DeviantArt account. And I didn't even find out about this until someone reached out to me saying like, hey, do you know where they went? And I'm like, no, I don't. But I forget that despite the fact that Heavier Lobster deleted their account, I felt that it would still be fair to show this story off to you guys because this is one of the few projects I look back on in my DeviantArt days and look upon proudly because I don't like looking back on my DeviantArt work because it was so bad. Because I made the, these stories back in middle school. It was insane. But I thought that it would be really fun to go ahead and show you guys this because, you know... <laughs> It's really fun to show to show my Rosalind Eric's story story because again I was really proud of this. But um, why don't we go ahead and get started? You woke from your much needed rest and you woke to see a strange ceiling. You panicked and shot up from the bed. Suddenly, a long wave of memory flew back, at, th flew through you, and you remembered everything. Between the strange woman you busted in on and her serving you tea and offering you a place to stay during your crazy space adventures, he spelled out a small sigh of relief. He chuckled at your brain fart and got ready for the and got started and started to get dressed for the day. After you got dressed, you brushed your hair and teeth and went out to try, um, trying to find that strange woman. As you're wandering around, you find yourself st standing at the center of the observatory. He stared at that magnificent view of the billions of stars decorating the endless void of space. While when you were most when you were the most consumed by the view, you felt a tiny and fragile hand tap your shoulder. He jumped and turned around. Sorry, I did not I did not bleh. sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you, Rosalina spoke. He sighed and smiled. I'm fine. The view here is fantastic, he said, looking back into the massive depths of space. She smiled and gave a laugh. I'm glad you enjoy it. I was actually looking for you. I had made breakfast. I looked back at her and he flashed a grin. Sounds great. She nodded and guided you to the kitchen. You moaned. You didn't care what anyone said. Rosalina was the best cook ever. Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? Rosalina looked up at you and smiled. I take it you like the food? She chuckled. Yes, these are the best pancakes I've probably ever tasted. Rosalina gave a questioning look. Really? I'd said that my cooking is more average. Are there any good cooks where you are from, where, where you are from? Not really. There's some fantastic cooks there, but not in my house or town. Rosalina pondered it for a moment or two, but then went back to eating her food. After you two finished eating, you both took the dishes to wash. Rosalina suddenly burst, busted out with, "Would you like to? Would you like me to set up a bath for you?" You looked back, you looked over and pretended to be offended. What, are you saying I smell bad? She gave a small, unlight laugh. No, well, a little bit. But after all, you did show up here yesterday, and I thought that after all these events that ha that are happening, you would like to relax in a nice hot bath. He thought about it for a few seconds and nodded. I suppose I can use it. It's not every day beautiful girls let me take baths in their house. She laughed again. You were honestly starting to like the sound of her laugh. You keep attempting that. Maybe one day it'll work someday. 
She laughed and winked. He smiled and spoke smoothly. I'll go get some clothes. You then laughed as she set up your bath. As the warm water consumed you, you thought about the last two days. The fact that this beautiful girl had welcomed you into her home or observatory, she offered you a place to stay, let her let you eat her food, use one of her spare bedrooms, and now she was letting you use her bathtub. When you listed all that, you could pro- you couldn't help but you probably couldn't help but think of it as odd. Since, after all, you met her by walking or bursting in on her taking a bath. You snapped out of your thoughts when you heard a soft knocking on the bathroom door. Your name. Are you okay? You've been in there for quite a long time. Y- yeah, just lost in thought. Okay, come out when you're ready. You then started to think more about Rosalina. She was a s- rather strange girl compared to the others you met in your lifetime. Aside from the fact that she led you... St- let her stay at your house and let you stay at her house she had mentioned how she was different from other girls while she was kind and generous she also seemed a mysterious vibe amending all of her she was rather cute her her golden long hair her sky blue eyes her long and flowing dress everything about her seemed like a rather beautiful dre- rather, rather beautiful gem you shook your head and got out of the bath before getting dressed you brushed your hair and teeth once more and chatted with Rosalina a bit before going to bed for the night, or day, whatever it was in space. To be continued. So, uh, I am looking at the description post that I made for this exact story. This was apparently posted in summer, I assume, because this was literally quite... This is literally before my freshman year of high school, and I'm a junior. And it even says, like, oh, in the description I said, I gotta go to sleep now because it's 2.22 in the morning. And I'm like, why did I stay up that late? Like, what is wrong with me? I can barely even stay up till midnight nowadays. But, uh, yeah, I'm really glad... And I really, uh, I'm really happy with this story, and I'm glad that I made it. And I hope that you all enjoyed the first part of this as well as the second part. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have clicked the card at the beginning that said, "Oh, this is the first part. Please check it out. Otherwise, you will be lost." But um, I hope that you guys check that out because it's very important to the story. And I will be posting the third part of this story as well to be able to tell you guys, like, "Oh, hey, this is also what's going on." Because I believe, again, I made three parts of this story. I did not make a fourth one, but I hope I will. Besides, it could be just the thing to get me back on my DeviantArt game. But anyway, this is Venom Raider, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.